This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Click the link in the description for a two month free trial, but more on that later, because we need to fix something. You ever wonder how those Instagram artists have such cool looking sketchbooks? In my last video, I showed you how to fake a good sketchbook, even if you're bad at art. One of the secrets in that video was drawing easy things like cactuses, cacti. But that's boring and I literally hated it so much I ripped it out of my sketchbook. It made me sad. I felt like it was somebody else's art. So if that stupid cactus page is not my style, how would I use those same tips with drawings that are my style? There are only three ingredients that I need to make art that I don't hate. Number one, my art has to be made in a time in my life where I'm in a deep depression. I am happy. So we can check that off as automatic. Two, it's got to be made for me, not my followers. Look, I love you guys, but mommy needs some me time. The third and last thing that I need to make art that I don't hate is to put my AirPod extensions in and relax to my playlist of stock audio of a man screaming on loop. We're vibing with the big boys now. <laughs> As for the subject matter of this sketchbook, that one's a bit tricky. There are many things that keep me going in this existence that I find myself in. One of those things is holding on to the hope that the aliens will come down and slaughter us humans in the same way that we slaughter animals for food. So that being said, let's draw Kermit. I started by copying images of Kermit to get a sense of his shape and proportion, and it took me like 10 minutes to draw the first one, but by the end of this video, I was able to draw him in like 10 seconds with just a few lines. It's amazing what repetition will do to your brain. It's amazing what repetition will do to your brain. Just like if you keep repeating to yourself that you're not good enough or you're ugly, eventually that will be the theme song for your life. And then you won't even realize how much you're bullying yourself on a daily basis. That's big. I suck at art. And that's okay because I enjoy it. Nobody says I have to be perfect right away. Look at Jazza. His art sucks, but we love him and his art. Hell, look at me. I'm worse than he is. So grab your sketchbook, and as Bo Burnham would say, Repeat that, repeat that, yeah, oh, you know it. After I kind of figured out that Kermit is a bottom-heavy oval with kind of a lopsided worm for a head, I started to experiment with character design. I picked a few of my favorite characters, like Spider-Man, Perry Cotter, Pan Solo, and dressed them up. This is basically Kermit as a cosplayer here. Darth Maul Kermit, i uh, shorten that up, Dr. Maul Kermit. Darth Maul Sonic is basically Shadow. Phineas turned out exceptionally cursed, just as I had hoped, and Goku and Rick look dumb. But the Goku part got me curious. What would Kermit look like with Goku's body too? Oh yes, now we're getting somewhere. That is a beautiful sight. Anna and Elsa, ma. Anna and Elsa? They're Italian. <laughs> And you even got the Sistine Chapel hand of God touching the lovely Jasmine. She's in a whole new world, the underworld. But I prefer Jasmine with the sensual curves of our beloved Mr. Frog. <laughs> Nothing says attractive princess like Kermit body proportions. Normalize Kermit body proportions. If you're an Instagram girl and you want more likes, get Kermit body proportions. Talk to your trainer. The whole Goku thing makes me think of the fusion though. So what if I fused Kermit the frog with other animals? Instead of a frog, let's make him another reptile like a sneak a sneak. Or maybe a mammal like the lions from the Lion King. Look at that little cutie. Okay, let's make him a T-Rex. Yes! Then I hit the jackpot. What other green creatures could Kermit go with? Mike Bokuski, baby! The concept worked. Now it's start to I'm writing the first page, okay? You understand? Time to start drawing my first page for real now. Okay, that one didn't work. That's fine, we'll make another one. Okay, never mind. It is a little harder than I thought. Apparently, now that I have turned on the camera, my hands have suddenly forgot how to function properly. Oh, that's great news for me, because my whole thing is filming my hands making things. Pro tip, if you're feeling sad and you just need a good cry, then make some bad drawings, because being frustrated is a great catalyst for releasing some of your pent-up emotions that you've been holding in since childhood. So find a safe spot to cry and let her rip like a Beyblade, baby! You can blame it on your drawings. They'll always be there for you. They're not going anywhere and neither is your art career. <laughs> anyway, I finally got my act together and completed a page. Here we see Mike Lebowski in his natural Mimi habitat. However, this time he has accepted his role in society and merged with his superior. 
Our beloved Kermit is now more powerful than you can possibly imagine, and this is just the beginning. From now on, his strength will continue to grow at an immeasurable rate. The perfect mixture of good and evil, Kermike Frogowski is becoming the perfect agathic archaeological mess, according to science and also numbers. Just don't ask his otorhinolaryngologist about his sinuses. <laughs> Intelligent medical humor, how entirely relatable. I hated it, I hated it. I almost tore that one out of my sketchbook too, but I, I, I knew it was late and I was probably just tired and cranky. And guess what? The next morning, I had a change of heart. It's not that I decided that I liked it or that it was better than I thought it was. It's just, <laughs> I just realized that if that was me trying my hardest, after my hands were all warmed up, it's probably not gonna get much better than that. And I should just accept my defeat, take the L and, understand that I'm not as good of an artist as I want to be yet. But maybe if I keep drawing Kermit, I will find happiness and meaning in my art. So naturally, I didn't draw Kermit for the next page. I tried to draw those cactuses from the last video, you know, these guys, but as hot guys. Putting the suck and succulent, if you know what I mean. Hey, you guys, when I tell you it's important to warm up. I, I mean it's important to warm up when you're drawing. I thought these were gonna be so easy, but they look so stiff and amateur. I hated them, hated them, ah! But you can tell by this third one, I had loosened up a little bit and was starting to get my hand back to working again. That's big. I turned the page over and used the shapes that were showing through as a guide for the next page. It was awesome. It's like tracing, but better, because no one will be able to tell that I traced it unless I tell them, and I just told them. That's another good cheat. Use the other side of your paper to trace your bad drawings so that you can make them look better. And if you watched my last video, How to Fake a Good Sketchbook, you already know the five tips I used to make the cactus page. I didn't feel like putting any more color into it, so I just did some orange rectangles, baby! I didn't like these very much either, and I was bored, so I went back to Kermit. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Instead of adding color block to the background, I colored the shadows on the ground and let that reflect some of the light onto the underside of these Kermit dinosaurs. Oh! Yes! I also decided to give them each a different color, like Power Rangers. You know, like they each have their own personality. Now that I think about it though, I think these colors were entirely based on my memories from the land before time. So I think a little bit of uh, seven year old Andrew is poking his head into this video to say hi to you guys. I started with the T-Rex and there were some blank spots left on the page that needed to be filled up. So I filled it with a Brachiosaurus and a Triceratops, but there was still some extra space. So I added some Kermit heads to fill those in. Done with the dinos, then comes my solo baby. Oh, I love him. I love the way he holds his blaster. Like I gotta remember that he's a Muppet. So he kind of just slaps things around instead of actually grabbing them. I even added some sticks to the Kermit solo on the bottom left. So it's like someone's helping to puppeteer him, you know? And what says Disney franchise more than a misguided youth impaling his father with a laser sword as he watches the life drain out of his eyes? <laughs> Not much. I filled the rest of the blank spots with the Millennium Falcon and Kermit shooting first. Although I put the blaster at the wrong angle on the table. It doesn't make sense to be angled that way. Plus it's getting in the way of the blaster on the main drawing. Whatever. I used all the tips from the How to Fake a Good Sketchbook video on this page. By this point, I knew this one was probably gonna be my last page. I really felt like I had come a long way from being really unsure of myself in the beginning to actually completing a couple of pages in my sketchbook. The memes kept me going, man. The memes keep me going. The memes keep me going in life. Who am I kidding? And I knew this last drawing was like the Catalina wine mixer of this video. Lots of pressure. So I knew I had to go even further beyond. And this is what is known as a Super Saiyan who has ascended past the Super Saiyan. Oh. And this is to go even further beyond. <laughs> There's a man named Gary Vaynerchuk who has a very special place in my heart. He's like the Bob Ross of business. Ow. Except he's super aggressive and funny. Do I have the cleanest bones in the history of the show? Yes? Yes, bones. Cleanest bones, mother. 
And guess who has a class on Skillshare? My boy Gary V, baby. Skillshare is an online learning community with video classes that are kind of like YouTube tutorials, but they're organized like proper classes. And they have classes on all kinds of things like animation, creative writing, film and video, fine art, graphic design, illustration, music, photography, the list goes to infinity and beyond, baby. I'm taking Gary's class right now called Context is Key, Social Media Strategy in a Noisy Online World. I am not exaggerating when I say at this moment, Gary is my number one inspiration for this channel. First 500 of my subscribers who click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. And if you wanna keep going after your free two months is up, it's only like 10 bucks a month for an annual subscription. That's full access to all their classes. That's less than an in-person class at the rec center with old squiddy boy. Big McThankies from McSpankies to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Go eat your vegetables and pet a cow. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. That's it, that's the end. That's the end of the video, goodbye.